Praise the Lord, everyone. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the Lord for blessing my life and giving me the chance to speak for our Lent devotionals this year. Um, oftentimes, when presented with such an opportunity, uh, I notice that I gain a transformation myself and learn more about God and His ways and the things He's done for me in my life. Um, to bring back the focus for today's Lent devotional. For today's devotional, we're going to talk about serving and love. Why are these correlated? What is the connection between these two words? So let's talk about serving first. Serving is defined as performance, performing duties or services for another entity. As a Christian, God calls us to serve Him and only Him while ignoring the noise that happens within this world. And it, it happens in societies, in our friends, in our family, anything. He calls us to commit to Him wholeheartedly and allow ourselves to be transformed through the Holy Spirit and with His unconditional love. Through this commitment only will we be able to understand and approve of God's perfect will. God calls us to serve in many ways. Uh, a common pattern I've noticed is to use the gifts given to us by the Holy Spirit and to use these gifts to glorify Him and spread the good news. He does not call us to serve without effort, but rather be diligent in everything that we do and act with love and reflect Christ in every action and be intentional in the ways you do things and you portray these gifts to others. Uh, each one of us has a gift or gifts that's unique to us. For some, it can be public speaking. Uh, for me, me personally, it's music. Um, and I want to emphasize to take a moment to think about the gifts that you possess. Understand these gifts and make an effort to nurture them and use them vigilantly to empower God and glorify Him and use it for His glory only. It is important not to use these gifts to glorify yourself, but rather bring the focus to God and show what He has done for you. As we just learned, gifts are a great way to spread when done diligently. Another component to using gifts is to serve, the power, serve with the power of the Holy Spirit with them. And another important part of this is to do with love as well. Do it with sincere love and hate what is evil. In difficult times, we often react um, negatively and forget to take a moment to respond with love. Since we're only human, oftentimes this is the route that we take. It becomes difficult to think this way when we act through the lens of anger, envy, hate. But God calls us to act with love regardless of the situation. It is not our job to avenge for God, what God will repay. This is mentioned in uh, Romans chapter 12, verse 17. And to bring everything together, remember the gifts you have and nurture them. Use them every day. Understand them so that you can use it to serve the Lord through the power of the Holy Spirit and not just not just without effort, but rather diligently, but also with love. Thank you.